1994 San Marino Grand Prix from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The 1994 San Marino Grand Prix was a Formula One motor race held on the 1st of May 1994 at the Autodromo Enzo Idino Ferrari in Imola, Italy. It was the third race of the 1994 Formula One season and the first race of the season to be held in Europe. The race weekend was marred by the deaths of Austrian Roland Ratzenberger and three-time world champion Ayrton Senna, as well as numerous other accidents and injuries, and was described by BBC television commentator Murray Walker as the blackest day for Grand Prix racing that I can remember. Michael Schumacher eventually won the race. In the press conference following the race, Schumacher said he couldn't feel satisfied, couldn't feel happy with his win following the events that had occurred during the race weekend. Nicola Larini scored the first points of his career when he obtained a podium finish in second position. Mika Hakkinen finished third. The race led to an increased emphasis on safety in the sport. It led to the reforming of the Grand Prix Drivers Association and the changing of many track layouts and car designs. Since the race, numerous regulation changes have been made to slow Formula One cars down, and new circuits, such as Bahrain International Circuit, incorporate large runoff areas to slow cars before they collide with a wall. The hands device, a piece of equipment that provides head and neck support in the event of an accident, has since become mandatory. Senna was given a state funeral in his home country of Brazil, where around 500,000 people lined the streets to watch the coffin pass. Italian prosecutors charged six people with manslaughter in connection with Senna's death, all of whom were later acquitted. The case took over 11 years to conclude due to an appeal and a retrial following the original not guilty verdict. Section 1. Report. Qualifying. Senna's protégé, Rubens Barrichello, survived the first accident of the weekend. On Friday the 29th of April, during the first qualifying session to determine the starting order for the race, Rubens Barrichello's Jordan car hit a kerb at the Variante Bassa corner at 140 miles an hour, 225 kilometers an hour, launching him into the air. He hit the top of the tyre barrier and was knocked unconscious. His Jordan rolled several times after landing, before coming to rest upside down. Medical teams treated him at the crash site, and he was taken to the medical centre. He returned to the race meeting the next day, although his broken nose and a plaster cast on his arm forced him to sit out the rest of the race weekend. Ten years after the incident, Damon Hill, who drove for the williams Renault team at the time, described the feeling after the crash. We all brushed ourselves off and carried on qualifying, reassured that our cars were tough as tanks and we could be shaken but not hurt. Twenty minutes into the final qualifying session, Roland Ratzenberger lost control of his Simtech car while approaching the Villeneuve curve. He hit the concrete barrier wall, and although the survival cell remained largely intact, the force of the impact broke his neck. Ratzenberger, in his first season as a Formula One driver, had been travelling at 190 miles an hour, 306 kilometers an hour when the front wing of his car broke off after hitting a curb on the previous lap. The session was stopped and the remaining 40 minutes were eventually cancelled. Later in hospital it was announced that he had succumbed to his multiple injuries. His death marked the first Formula One race weekend fatality since the 1982 Canadian Grand Prix when Riccardo Paletti was killed. It had been eight years since Elio De Angelis died testing a Brabham car at the Paul Ricard circuit. Professor Sid Watkins, then head of the Formula One on-track medical team, recalled in his memoirs Ayrton Senna's reaction to the news, stating that Ayrton broke down and cried on my shoulder. Watkins tried to persuade Senna not to race the following day, asking, What else do you need to do? You have been world champion three times. You're obviously the quickest driver. Give it up and let's go fishing. But Ayrton was insistent, saying, Sid, there are certain things over which we have no control. I cannot quit. I have to go on. 
Senna had qualified on pole position ahead of championship leader Michael Schumacher. Gerhard Berger qualified in third, and Senna's teammate Damon Hill started from fourth position. A time Ratzenberger had posted before his fatal crash would have been sufficient for entry into the race, starting from the 26th and final position on the grid. Race First start At the start of the race, JJ Loto stalled his Benetton on the grid. Pedro Lamy, starting from further back on the grid, had his view of the stationary Benetton blocked by other cars and hit the back of Loto's car, causing bodywork and tyres to fly into the air. Parts of the car went over the safety fencing, designed to protect spectators at the start line, causing minor injuries to nine people. The incident caused the safety car to be deployed, with all the remaining competitors holding position behind it, while travelling at a reduced speed. During this period, as a result of travelling at slower speeds, tyre temperatures dropped. At the driver's briefing before the race, Senna, along with Gerhard Berger, had expressed concern that the safety car did not go fast enough to keep tyre temperatures high. Once the track was reported clear of debris, the safety car was withdrawn and the race restarted with a rolling start. Two laps after the restart, with Ayrton Senna leading from Michael Schumacher, Senna's car left the road at the Tamburello corner, and after slowing from 190 miles an hour, 306 kilometers an hour to 131 miles an hour 211 kilometers an hour hit the concrete wall at 2:17 p.m. local time a red flag was shown to indicate the race was stopped and Sid Watkins arrived at the scene to treat Senna when a race is stopped under a red flag cars must slow down and make their way back into the pit lane until further notice this protects race marshals and medical staff at the crash scene and allows easier access for medical cars to the incident. The LaRousse team mistakenly allowed one of their drivers, Eric Comas, to leave the pits despite the circuit being closed under red flags. Marshals frantically waved him down as he approached the scene of the accident, travelling at pretty much full speed. Eurosport commentator John Watson described the incident as the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen at any time in my life. Comas avoided hitting any of the people or cars that were on the circuit, but withdrew from the race. The pictures shown of Senna being treated on the world feed, supplied by host broadcaster RAI, were very graphic, and the BBC switched to their own camera focused on the pit lane. Senna was lifted from the wrecked Williams and airlifted to Maggiore Hospital in nearby Bologna. Medical teams continued to treat him during the flight. 37 minutes after the crash, at 2.55 p.m. local time. The race was restarted. Second start. The results of the restarted race would be determined by the aggregate results of the aborted first race and the second race. From the restart, Gerhard Berger took the lead on track, but Schumacher still led the race overall due to the amount of time he was ahead of Berger before the race was stopped. Schumacher took the lead on track on lap 12, and four laps later, Berger retired from the race with handling problems. Lorini briefly took the lead as Schumacher pitted, but the order was restored when Lorini took his own pit stop. Ten laps from the finish, the rear right wheel came loose from Michele Alvaretto's Minardi as it left the pit lane, leaving two Ferrari and two Lotus mechanics needing hospital treatment. Michael Schumacher won the race ahead of Nicola Lorini and Mika Hakkinen giving him a maximum of 30 points after three rounds of the 1994 Formula 1 season. It was the only podium finish of Lorini's career, and the first of just two occasions when he obtained World Championship points. At the podium ceremony, out of respect for Roland Ratzenberger and Ayrton Senna, no champagne was sprayed. Post-race Two hours and twenty minutes after Schumacher crossed the finish line, at 6.40pm local time, Dr. Maria Teresa Fiandri announced that Ayrton Senna had died. The official time of death was given, however, at 2.17pm local time, meaning that Senna had been killed instantly. The cause of death, established by an autopsy, was that a piece of the car's suspension pierced his helmet and skull. The 1994 Imla layout, which had been in place since 1981, was never again used for a Formula One race. The circuit was heavily modified following the race, including a change at Tamburello. 
also the scene of a major accident for Gerhard Berger in 1989, from a high-speed corner to a much slower chicane. The FIA also changed the regulations governing Formula One car design to the extent that the 1995 regulations required all teams to create completely new designs as their 1994 cars could not be adapted to them. The concern raised at the driver's briefing the morning of the race by Senna and Berger would lead to the reforming of the Grand Prix Drivers Association at the following race, the 1994 Monaco Grand Prix. The GPDA, which was originally founded in 1961, had previously disbanded in 1982. The primary purpose of it reforming was to allow drivers to discuss safety issues with a view to improve standards following the incidents at Imola. The front two grid slots at the Monaco Grand Prix that year, which were painted with Brazilian and Austrian flags, were left clear in memory of the two drivers who had lost their lives. Additionally, a moment of silence was observed before the race. Senna was given a state funeral in Sao Paulo, Brazil, on the 5th of May 1994. Approximately 500,000 people lined the streets to watch the coffin pass. Senna's rival Alain Prost was among the pallbearers. The majority of the Formula One community attended Senna's funeral. However, the president of the sports governing body, the FIA, Max Mosley, attended the funeral of Ratzenberger instead. He said in a press conference ten years later, I went to his funeral because everyone went to Senna's. I thought it was important that somebody went to his. Italian prosecutors brought legal proceedings against six people in connection with Senna's death. They were Frank Williams, Patrick Head and Adrian Newey of Williams, Federico Bendinelli, representing the owners of the Autodromo Enzo Edino Ferrari, Giorgio Poggi as the circuit director, and Roland Brensereider, who was race director and sanctioned the circuit. The trial verdict was given on the 16th of December 1997, clearing all six defendants of manslaughter charges. The cause of Senna's accident was established by the court as the steering column breaking. The column had been cut and welded back together at Senna's request in order for him to be more comfortable in the car. Following the court's decision, an appeal was lodged by the state prosecutor against Patrick Head and Adrian Newey. On the 22nd of November 1999, the appeal absolved Head and Newey of all charges, stating that no new evidence had come to light. There was missing data from the black box recorder on Senna's car due to damage, and 1.6 seconds of video from the onboard camera of Senna's car was unavailable because the broadcaster switched to another car's camera just before the accident. And so, under Article 530 of the Italian Penal Code, the accusation had to be declared as non-existent or the fact doesn't subsist. This appeal result was annulled in January 2003, as the judges believed that Article 530 was misinterpreted. A retrial was ordered, and on the 27th of May 2005, Head and Newey were both acquitted. Section 2. Classification. Qualifying. Pole position. Car number 2. Driver, Ayrton Senna. Team, Williams Renault. Lap time, 1 minute 21.548 seconds. Second position, car number 5, Michael Schumacher, Benetton Ford. 1 minute 21.885 seconds, 0.337 seconds behind. Third position, car number 28, Gerhard Berger, Ferrari. 1 minute 22.113 seconds, 0.565 seconds behind. Fourth position, car number 0. Damon Hill, Williams Renner, 1 minute 22.168 seconds, 0 0.620 seconds behind. Fifth position, car number 6, Yoki Yavileto, Benetton Ford, 1 minute 22.717 seconds, 1.169 seconds behind. Sixth position, car number 27, Nicola Larini, Ferrari. 1 minute 22.841 seconds, 1.293 seconds behind. 7th position, car number 30, Heinz Harald Frentzen, Sauber Mercedes. 1 minute 23.119 seconds, 1.571 seconds behind. 8th position, car number 7, Mika Hakkinen, McLaren Peugeot. 
1 minute 23.140 seconds, 1.592 seconds behind. Ninth position, car number 3, Ukiyo Katayama, Tyrrell Yamaha, 1 minute 23.322 seconds, 1.774 seconds behind. Tenth position, car number 29, Carl Wendlinger, Sauber Mercedes, 1 minute 23.347 seconds, 1.799 seconds behind. Eleventh position, car number 10, Gianni Morbidelli, Footwork Ford, 1 minute 23.663 seconds, 2.115 seconds behind. Twelfth position, car number 4, Mark Blundell, Tyrrell Yamaha, 1 minute 23.703 seconds, 2.155 seconds behind. 13th position, car number 8, Martin Brundle, McLaren Peugeot, 1 minute 23.858 seconds, 2.310 seconds behind. 14th position, car number 23, Pierluigi Martini, Minardi Ford, 1 minute 24.078 seconds, 2.530 seconds behind. 15th position. Car number 24. Michele Alvareto. Minardi Ford. 1 minute 24.276 seconds. 2.728 seconds behind. 16th position. Car number 9. Christian Fittipaldi. Footwork Ford. 1 minute 24.472 seconds. 2.924 seconds behind. 17th position, car number 25, Eric Bernard, Ligier Renault, 1 minute 24.678 seconds, 3.130 seconds behind. 18th position, car number 20, Eric Comas, LaRousse Ford, 1 minute 24.852 seconds, 3.304 seconds behind. 19th position, car number 26, Olivier Panis. Ligier Renault, 1 minute 24.996 seconds, 3.448 seconds behind. 20th position, car number 12, Johnny Herbert, Lotus Mugen Honda, 1 minute 25.114 seconds, 3.566 seconds behind. 21st position, car number 15, Andrea De Cesaris, Jordan Hart, 1 minute 25.234 seconds, 3.686 seconds behind. 22nd position, car number 11, Pedro Lamy, Lotus Mugen Honda, 1 minute 25.295 seconds, 3.747 seconds behind. 23rd position, car number 19, Olivier Beretta, LaRousse Ford, 1 minute 25.991 seconds, 4.443 seconds behind. 24th position, Car number 31, David Brabham, Simtech Ford, 1 minute 26.817 seconds, 5.269 seconds behind. 25th position, car number 34, Bertrand Gacho, Pacific Ilmore, 1 minute 27.143 seconds, 5.595 seconds behind. 26th position, car number 32, Roland Ratzenberger. Simtech Ford, 1 minute 27.584 seconds, 6.036 seconds behind. 27th position, car number 33, Paul Belmondo, Pacific Ilmore, 1 minute 27.881 seconds, 6.333 seconds behind. 28th position, car number 14, Rubens Barrichello, Jordan Hart, no time set. Race. First place. Car number five. Driver Michael Schumacher. Team Benetton Ford. 58 laps completed. Time. 1 hour, 28 minutes, 29.3 seconds. Grid position. Second. Points. 10. Second place. Car number 27. Nicola Larini. Ferrari. 58 laps completed, 54.942 seconds down, grid position 6, points 6. Third place, car number 7, Mika Hakkinen, McLaren Peugeot, 58 laps completed, 
70.679 seconds down. Grid position 8th, points 4. Fourth place, car number 29, Carl Wendlinger, Salva Mercedes. 58 laps completed, 73.658 seconds down. Grid position 10th, points 3. Fifth place, car number 3, Ukio Katayama, Tyrrell Yamaha. 57 laps completed, 1 lap down. Grid position 9th, points 2. Sixth place, car number 0, Damon Hill, Williams Renault. 57 laps completed, 1 lap down. Grid position 4th, 1 point. Seventh place, car number 30, Heinz Harold Frentzen, Salva Mercedes. 57 laps completed, 1 lap down. Grid position 7th. 8th place, car number 8, Martin Brundle, McLaren Peugeot. 57 laps completed, 1 lap down, grid position 13th. 9th place, car number 4, Mark Blundell, Tyrrell Yamaha. 56 laps completed, 2 laps down, grid position 12th. 10th place, car number 12, Johnny Herbert, Lotus Mugen Honda. 56 laps completed, 2 laps down, grid position 20th. 11th place, car number 26, Olivier Panis, Ligier Renault. 56 laps completed, 2 laps down, grid position 19th. 12th place, car number 25, Eric Bernard, Ligier Renault. 55 laps completed, 3 laps down, grid position 17th. 13th place, car number 9, Christian Fittipaldi, Footwork Ford. 54 laps completed, spun off, grid position 16th, retired, car number 15, Andrea de Cesaris, Jordan Hart, 49 laps completed, spun off, grid position 21st, retired, car number 24, Michele Alboreto, Minardi Ford, 44 laps completed, loose wheel, grid position 15th, Retired. Car number 10, Gianni Morbidelli, footwork board. 40 laps completed, engine. Grid position 11th. Retired. Car number 23, Pierre Luigi Martini, Minardi Ford. 37 laps completed, spun off. Grid position 14th. Retired. Car number 31, David Brabham, Simtech Ford. 27 laps completed, spun off, grid position 24th, retired, car number 34, Bertrand Gachot, Pacific Ilmore, 23 laps completed, engine, grid position 25th, retired, car number 19, Olivier Beretta, LaRousse Ford, 17 laps completed, engine, grid position 23rd, retired, Car number 28, Gerhard Berger, Ferrari. 16 laps completed. Suspension. Grid position 3rd. Retired. Car number 2, Ayrton Senna, Williams Renault. 5 laps completed. Fatal accident. Grid position, pole. Retired. Car number 20, Eric Comas, LaRousse Ford. 5 laps completed. Vibrations. Grid position 18th. Retired. Car number 6. Yerky Yavileto. Benetton Ford. No laps completed. Accident. Grid position 5th. Retired. Car number 11. Pedro Lamy. Lotus Mugen Honda. No laps completed. Accident. Grid position 22nd. Did not start. Car number 32. Roland Ratzenberger. Simtech Ford. Fatal accident during qualifying. Grid position 26. Did not qualify. Car number 14. Rubens Barrichello. Jordan Hart. Accident during practice. Did not qualify. Car number 33. Paul Belmondo. 
Pacific Ilmore. Fastest lap, Damon Hill, 1 minute 24.335 seconds. See also the article entitled Death of Ayrton Senna. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation Licence, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl.html.